second season of Stranger Things will release on Netflix on October 27th, but there are a bunch of cool theories to ponder until it drops. Before we get into that gross, sticky portal gate thing, however, be sure to subscribe to Universe, where we cover TV shows like Star Trek American Horror Story and Rick and Morty. Now let's go all the way back to 1984 in a little town called Hawkins, Indiana. <laughs> In the seventh episode of the first season, the Demogorgon finds Will's Fort Byers hideout in the Upside Down. In the next episode, he is found and returned to the real world by his mother and Hopper. Some fans theorize that the Will that they brought back was an upside down facsimile of Will Byers, either evil himself or just destined to unknowingly puke up monsters for all of his earthly days. Which brings up my next fan theory. Some fans think that the gross monster stuff that Will is coughing up will go down into the water supply for the region and cause some issues, including the crop devastation we see in the Season 2 trailer, possibly spawning more Demogorg. Is that plural for Demogorgon? In Dungeons & Dragons, the Demogorgon is a hermaphroditic demon with two heads, who each want to dominate or even kill each other, but they can't because in doing so, they would destroy themselves. Another theory is that Eleven is the other aspect of the monster. She created it when she went to the other dimension, and now they're linked, which explains why she could open gates to the Upside Down and why she disappeared when the Demogorgon did at the end of Season 1. The gate. I opened it. I'm the monster. The next theory is a bit more cutesy than the others, but I love cute things. Many people have postulated that Nancy and Jonathan will end up together in Season 2. Nancy giving him the camera at the end of Season 1, paired with her line from the trailer, oh, We only seem to hang out when the world's about to end. Seems like it would be an easy move for her, and definitely what Jonathan wanted all along. Hopper getting into the black car with obvious government agents had everyone wondering what exactly the heck was going on. His past is definitely still to be explored further, but he has been referred to previously as a big city cop. Was Hopper actually a government agent, and now he's just signing back up after the extra-dimensional events of Season 1? The final theory I have for you is that there may be other psychic kids with weird Dr. Brenner daddy issues. Eleven is either a very interesting name or she's the eleventh child product of the MK Ultra experiments Dr. Brenner was conducting. This theory is that even more of the kids will show up in season two and dominate the screen with their verbose dialogue. The internet is full of tons more theories, so let me know what you guys think in the comments or tell me on Twitter at Buddy Hutton. Universe is going to be breaking down each episode of Stranger Things Season 2 as soon as it drops, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Brought to you by The Evil Within 2. The Evil Within 2. Available now.